here goes anyway. So, I have no idea how much of this you're going to be able to see. So this is the new um, the Betaflight F3 and the CPU copped, um, copped 16 volts yesterday in a, in a fire, in a crash. Um, not related to the flight controller, that was related to some ESCs and some other issues, but in any case, we're going to try and steal the F3 off this, um, what's this, an SP racing clone. This is a X Racer version 1.0, the original X Racer. Um, this is one of the prototypes sent to me for review when the X Racer was first being um, produced. So, yeah, we're going to steal that CPU and plonk it on there and hopefully that fixes all my issues. Um, I don't have a syringe of flux, so... I've just got some rosin flux and some alcohol and mixed it together. Okay, I'm probably going to need a little bit more flux, I dare say. Alrighty, that looks yum. Can never have too much flux, so we won't stress about having too much. And of course my hands are shaking because I'm recording a video every time. <laughs> every time I record a video, I get Parkinson's, essentially. <laughs> okay. So, basically all I'm going to be doing here is um, putting flux around the chip. I've got a reflow station here with a 4mm tip set to about 380 degrees and full airflow or near full airflow and that'll get that chip off nice and easy. So that's what we'll probably do first is just, well, if I can stop shaking, is just pull this chip off. Yeah, paint it on, stuff it. You can never have too much. I'll just show you how hacky you can really be. Like I. I won't take much care in this and hopefully it all still works. <laughs> okay. Um, now, CPU orientation. So that's STM facing that way. Yep, okay. So I'm just going to grab... This makes sense. I'm just going to grab it by each corner. Not a lot of pressure, just enough to sort of hold it and I'm going to heat it and lift the board by the CPU and when it's hot enough the CPU will just fall off. So circular motion about a centimetre or two away, a little bit and then I'm going to come in Yep, there it is. So that's my CPU off. Donor board off to the side. Okay. Now let's get our CPU off the beta flight. Uh, the beta flight F3 board. Well, I will be a little bit more careful here because I don't want to stuff this board. Oh, I might just take a few seconds to take a few deep breaths and try and stop shaking. I'm recording the video. It's not a big deal. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's going to watch it. Okay. Here we go. That didn't help, I'm still shaking. <laughs> but I'm probably shaking even more now. Whoa, see this shake, it's getting worse. <laughs> Calm down, Hector. It's all good. Now, Realistically, we could clean these pads up, add a bit of 60-40, uh, and make it all nice, but, but, I don't need to, I don't want to, I'm not going to. I'm just going to pop it on and hope it works. Oh, 
All right, so probably want to line this up as well as you can. Actually, I don't have my head in view too much there. That's pretty well in line. So what I'll do, now this is probably the hardest part, because like you want to add a bit more flux, do the same thing, like come in with the heat gun and um, I'll just dab a bit on top there, it'll flow down. So the idea is to come in, same thing, circular motions with the heat gun, and you will see, like you can't, see, you're not going to see with this camera. I really need a microscope, but with my eyes, I will see this chip pop into place. We'll see all the um, the connections sort of flow in, and it'll all just like pop into place. And I might e might even have to give it a little tap, but um, I'm hoping to avoid that because I'm shaking so much. So here goes nothing. Shaking too much, but that is good. That is good. We are on, I believe. Okay, so I've got two pins shorted over here, which we'll get rid of. Oh turn the iron on now to get rid of that and hmm, probably could could give it a bit of a knock around like a, a bit of a tap just to get it on there probably but God, I'm sort of regretting recording this only because of the shaking Oh, oh, oh. Yep, still looks good. Okay. Next thing we've got, you I mean, you really probably can't see this, but we've got some shorter pins down here, and that I'll have to inspect, but I believe that will be done. So, with a bit of flux, if you've got a couple of shorter pins, it's really not a big deal just get some flux on there and wipe it away <sighs> alright so those pins are now clean. Alright, we might just go over the whole board.
Mm -hmm. ah, a bit more flux down here. No joy. I want to take that off again. Okay, so the reason I've taken that back off, I'll show you, if you can see, we had some shorter pins down here, and in trying to wipe it off, I actually ended up bending a pin on the CPU, so before I break that off and have to get another one, I'll just fix, want to fix this up now. taking the excess solder off the pins it's um, probably leaded and that would have been half my problem if I had cleaned this and added 60-40 um, would probably be in a much better standing position at the moment okay so that pin has been bent back <laughs> now back to square one line it up again now the chances of me editing this out are very slim I believe these sort of quirks um, should be left in these sort of videos any quirks really should be left in all videos if I can figure it out on the spot don't edit the shit out That's just me though. All right, taking a lot of care to line that back up. Triple checking it. Back in with the heat gun. connected ah. so a little bit more care makes for a much easier job I think that happened all um, hitch free this time I can't see any shorts uh. oh, I suppose now it's time to check so before I had a short on um, between VCC in and ground on the um, CPU, so 3 volt and ground. 
So ground three volt. Woohoo! No short. Um, no shorts. Motor one output was shorted to ground. Awesome. So there's no errors in the tray. I mean, no blown up traces or shorted traces between the CPU. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that swapping that CPU out, and here's the old one. Now, you sure as hell won't be able to see this, but hey, we'll try anyway. Where is it? Um, over this side, there's like a bit of a hole taken out of it, and internally it's been fused. It got blown the fuck up. So, yeah. Last thing left is to uh, power it up and see if I get any lights. Um, one thing I should probably be a little bit careful of is that it has that CPU will have firmware for um, for an SP racing not the beta flight board so what's happened under here we've got a bit hot that's all right um, just make sure that's not going to short anything out Okay, so what I want to do, just because this has got firmware for the wrong sort of flight control, I'm just going to start it up in DFU, if it's going to do anything at all. <gasps> yes! Yes! Lights! <gasps> success! Somewhat success! Better than what we had before. I didn't, I forgot to show you guys, but um, there was no lights on, on this board prior. I mean, how could it when it was shorted to ground? So, probable success. I'll have to get home and um, and flash it with with a new hex and and triple check. But yeah. Urgh. Hopefully, that was of some help to to someone. Maybe it was interesting. Um, yeah, like I said, I probably I won't I won't edit any of this. I'll just. I might make it a little bit shorter, but I'll leave all the quirks and all the issues in, and hopefully it's of some assistance to somebody. See you on the next one.